Hare Krishna. A lot of times when we are depressed, when we are disheartened, when we are disturbed, and it's something that becomes a pattern that goes on for a very long period of time, we are usually referred to a psychiatrist or a psychologist who can help us through counseling and talk therapy or through medication to help us overcome depression, bipolar disorder, um, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, and so many, so many different types of issues that we may have. Now, the question is, how much can a psychologist help us? How much can the psychotherapist help us? What are the limitations? And what are other healing modalities that we need to look at? Now, when we go to a psychologist or a psychotherapist, a lot of times it's talk therapy. They understand different behavioral patterns. They understand how, you know, different patterns get seeped into us and how those create trouble for us and the people around us. So through talk therapy, they help us overcome the behavior patterns by helping us assess our internals, assessing our needs. What needs are we trying to satisfy through those behavioral patterns? Are those behavioral patterns important for us, etc., etc. So yes, psychotherapy is a very well-defined science and it has a lot of different things set and it works. It helps us. But finally, what is needed even you know, the expectation that a psychotherapist has from you is that by this counseling session or through this healing session, you will be able to change your thought process from an irrational thought process to a rational thought process. So that is what a psychotherapist aims for. Now, there are certain things that psychotherapy misses is that they miss out the fact that sometimes when people have gone through a lot of trauma or they have been in those patterns or behavioral patterns for a very long time, it has created certain changes in the chemical, enzymic, at the chemical and enzymic level in their bodies or at a chakra level in the body or in Ayurvedic terms in the vata, pitta and kapha of their body. So there are some vikritis that have developed, which is something psychotherapy cannot address. So therefore, some physical healing or physical addressing of those mental issues is also needed. Now, no matter how many healing modalities we do, of course, not to discount any one of them. If you're trying to heal yourself, you need to go to, through psychotherapy if you need to, or through pranic healing or through yoga or through an Ayurvedic doctor to help you balance yourself. Now, no matter how many healing therapies, etc., we go to, there is one sure shot message to completely heal ourselves. And that is to understand who we are really. Now, am I this body and all these things connected to the body, all the roles connected to the body, all the wealth connected to the body, and all the name and fame connected to the body? If I think that is what I am, then I'm going to think, oh, I'm a wife. And this is how my husband must behave me. And if he doesn't do that, then something is wrong and I'm going to be angry and I'm going to be depressed. And I belong to so-and-so family. And my family needs to be treated in so-and-so way by other people. And if that doesn't happen, then something's really wrong and I need to be angry or depressed. Or I'm a mother. My children must grow up in this way. And they must achieve these uh, you know, these levels in their success. And if that doesn't happen, I'm going to be depressed. Now, all this is happening because I'm identifying, I'm thinking I am all of these different people. But the point is, when we come to spirituality, and whatever faith we may follow, but when we come to spirituality, the basic thing that is addressed in each one of those paths is who we are, who God is, and what is our relationship with Him. So when we understand that we are parts and parcels of God, and we are spiritual in nature. We have received these external identities because of the bodies we are living in. These identities are there, but they are not real. They are temporary. My permanent identity is I'm an eternal servitor of God. When I remain in that identity through my spiritual practices and through the guidance of my spiritual masters and my mentors, that helps me overcome and change my thought processes. So that helps me overcome all the different issues I may have because of all the false identities I am identifying with. And that changes a lot of our 
attitude towards life and that helps us develop a completely different a paradigm shift in how we see life and how we see things now until we are able to do that until we are able to become solid in our uh, spiritual practices we might in certain cases take shelter of all of these different healing modalities because they do help us and the lifestyle recommendations they have because they do help us keep a able body and mind because we need an able body and mind so that we can even think about these spiritual practices but we cannot depend upon them forever because sooner than later we must grow in our spiritual practices and our understanding so that we can take full shelter of the spiritual path when we do that our thought processes have changed so much that there is no damage happening to our bodies or our minds because of our own thought processes so please take shelter of some spiritual path as you go through these healing modalities because it's the spiritual path that is finally going to help you overcome your own self hari krishna